All right. Well, I'm sorry I missed y'all the last two days. I just got too many things going on and just couldn't couldn't get time spread out. So, so sorry about that. But I've got a really good one for you today. Now, before you go any further on this video, if you haven't looked at the first two sheets that I sent earlier today, about five or ten minutes ago, take a, chance, take a look at those. Uh, print them out if you need to, or at least look at them and decide what you think the answers to those questions are. The first one I gave you uh, looked like this and said, your partner has opened three hearts. So it's kind of like, what do you know and what do you think you should do? Okay, so here I did tell you what you should know, that they had a seven card heart suit with uh, two, at least two of the top three honors and not much else in their hand. And that's your hand. So the first question is, what would you bid? And because you only have five points, so gosh, you don't have very many high card points between your two hands. But remember, preempts are about how many tricks you think you can win. And there's also a defensive element to it, which is how many tricks do you think the opponents can win? Part of the job in a preempt is to keep the opponents out of the bidding, right? Uh, when it's their hand to take it away from them. The second sheet I gave you was kind of the questions you needed to ask yourself. Okay, so if you remember, I left you on, uh, gosh, it was Tuesday, no, m Monday, hmm, with kind of a thought of, if you had a fit, it was probably right to raise. And if you didn't have a fit, it was probably right to pass. So these are kind of the other things that you ask yourself. Now, we know that partner has seven hearts with two of the top three honors, at least, and no ace or king outside their suit. Seven hearts, no ace or king outside their suit, two of the top three honors. And we also said that they usually don't have a four-card major and another suit. Okay, so first, let's do this sheet. So, how many spades do the opponents have? Well, the most partner can have is three, and I have one, so they have at least nine spades, if not more. So, you can write that down. They have nine. Now, the second question is, how many hearts do the opponents have? Well, partner has exactly seven, and we have four. So that's 11. They have two hearts split between their two hands. Hmm. So somebody has a, a singleton or a void in hearts. How many high card points do the opponents hold? Well, I have five, and the most partner can have is six to ten, something like that. You know, if they had more than that, they would open one, right? So that means that they have 25 to 29 high card points. Wow, they've got a lot of high card points. And if the opponents entered into the bidding and were able to discover that they had a spade fit, how many tricks could they win if they were in spades? The most we can take is my ace of diamonds and partner if they have it, the ace of hearts. So that's going to be what? Ace of diamonds and ace of hearts would be, we get two, they get 11. Maybe I can let partner trump a diamond. Maybe I could lead the ace of diamonds and partner could trump. Well, that'd give us three. That's still 10 tricks for them. So on these kinds of hands, sometimes the question isn't, can we go make our contract? Do we go plus? It's like, you know, the opponents are going to get some points. If I pass and we stay in three hearts and we make it, that'd be a miracle. But maybe we do. Not much of a miracle. I've got a singleton. That's pretty good. We could probably win nine tricks. Well, that's 140 points for us. But if the opponents enter into the bidding and play with spades as trumps, they're going to get 420, 450. They're going to be able to discover they have a, heart, a spade fit. Somebody's short in hearts, if not both of them. And they have a ton of high card points. They're going to bid game. Hmm. So, here's the two hands. 
This is what partner had. So how many spades do the opponents have? Write it down for me. Ten. We have three. How many hearts do the opponents have? Only two, which we knew. How many high card points do the opponents have? Partner has six, and I have five. Eleven. They have 29 high card points. Okay? And, and uh, how many tricks will they win if spades are trumps? Well, if I'm smart enough to lead the ace of diamonds and play another diamond and let partner trump, or lucky enough, I don't even know if it's smart enough, we'll take two. So they will win 11. So you tell me, is it better to pass and feel, feel pretty confident that we can win nine tricks? And, you know, on this hand, what? how many will we win? Just didn't do that, did I? We can take six heart tricks, right? And we can win a diamond trick. That's seven. And I can trump a spade. That's eight. So we're going to go down one in three hearts. If we bid four hearts, we're going to go down two. But how many spades are the opponents going to make? And do you think that somebody is going to bid if I pass? They've got 29 high card points between their two hands. They have 10 spades. Isn't somebody going to be able to inch out either a three spade bid or a takeout double or something? Well, when they play against me, they do. I can tell you that for sure. So you need to bid four hearts. When you bid four hearts, it's kind of a two-way bid. If they let me play four hearts, that's great. Maybe they won't find their spade fit. If they double me, I go down two. Not a big deal. I don't care. I thought the opponents were going to get points. I just want them to only get 100 or 300 instead of 420 or 620. In this hand, east-west were vulnerable. So what would it be? 620 or 50. Preempts are about how many tricks do you think that your side can win, okay? And how many tricks will the opponents win if I let them enter into the bidding and find a fit? So, um, again, sorry about the last two days. Time just got away from me. I'm going to talk tomorrow about week two bids. And uh, for those of y'all that wanted to see the whole hand, there it is. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.